Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, Director of Marketing Communications for Cuisinart. Today I'm going to show you our brand new Elite Collection 12 Cup Food Processor. It has so many great innovative features that you're really going to enjoy. First, the lid comes off just by pressing these two release buttons and you lift it off. To put it back on, you just place it on the machine, press it down in the front until it clicks, press it down in the back until it clicks. So, one great innovative feature is our seal tight advantage system which is built right into the lid. It seals your bowl in any combination from the very top so that you can get the maximum capacity out of the work bowl. Additionally, it has a blade lock feature. The small chopping blade and the large chopping blade mount into the food processor, you press it down and it actually seals the bowl from the bottom. Additionally, when you take the bowl off the base and you go to pour ingredients out, the blade stays in place. This machine comes with two size work bowls. The first is the small work bowl, which you remove by using the finger recesses. It's four cups. And then your large work bowl, which is 12 cups. It has measure markings on the side. It also has uh, maximum liquid fill lines on both the small and the large bowl. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you some of the other pieces that come with your food processor. First is your large chopping blade which is used with your large work bowl. It's great for chopping anything from one clove of garlic all the way up to um, lots of soup that you can puree. It's fabulous for um, really great food prep tasks. The next item is your dough blade and the dough blade is used when you're making yeast based doughs like pizza dough and bread dough. Next is your adjustable slicing disc. This is really great. Use the finger holes when you're lifting the disc. The um, stem on the bottom twists and it goes from one millimeter all the way up to six. So you actually get six ways to slice in one disc. It goes from one millimeter, which is ultra thin, to six millimeters, which is extra thick. Then you get our reversible shredding discs. Use the finger holes when you're lifting the disc. One side is fine shreds and one side is medium shreds. And the way that this um, disc goes in the food processor is you use the stem, you match up the markings, and you just put the disc inside. You use the same method when you're using the um, slicing disc. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a fabulous hummus in just seconds. First we're going to remove the stem. We're going to use the large work bowl. And like I mentioned, the large chopping blade, which you put into the work bowl, you twist it and you press it down until it locks into place and that will actually engage the special blade lock. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how great this machine is at mincing garlic. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to drop in the garlic because that's the first thing we're going to do when we go to make our hummus. And if you like it extra spicy, a little hot, put in two cloves of garlic. Look how great that minces up that garlic. Now I'm going to just turn the machine off really quick. I'm going to take the lid off and then I'm going to add my herbs. And today I'm going to use some fresh parsley. I love parsley. One thing to remember when you're using herbs is, you know, take the stems off. You don't want the stem part in there. I'm also going to add a little bit of basil for fun. I'm going to chop that up really quickly. You can either use the on button or you can actually use pulse to chop. So now that that's finely chopped, we're going to move on. I'm going to add my um, chickpeas. And when you make hummus, it calls for chickpeas, but don't be afraid to get creative. You can use any type of um, bean. Make sure you drain the bean really well before you put it in the food processor. I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice. I prefer the lemon juice. It gives it a nice crisp taste. And I'm going to use um, the silicone spatula that comes with your Cuisinart food processor. I'm going to add the tahini paste. And a lot of people um, say, well, what's tahini paste? And tahini paste is actually, believe it or not, ground um, sesame seeds. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of crushed pepper and a little bit of salt. Not too much salt because the canned beans have a lot of salt in them to begin with and I like to keep the salt down. I'm going to put the food processor lid back on. I'm going to pulse to start and then I'm going to run the machine on the on feature. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the olive oil through the small feed tube until it becomes really, really creamy. I like my hummus really creamy and smooth, so I'm going to add all the olive oil. And now you could actually stop the machine at this point, but what we're going to do today is do a special version of hummus and we're going to add some roasted red peppers. And you're going to see how it colors the hummus and also gives a great flavor. So just drop those in through the feed tube. And there you have it, a beautiful homemade hummus. It's smooth, it's creamy, and it couldn't be more delicious. Look how great that looks. Now to get the hummus out of your bowl, remember you have your special um, blade lock. So you can actually remove the work bowl right from the base, and you can actually just pour the hummus right into your serving dish. It couldn't be easier. Look how beautiful that looks. All you have to do is toast up some pita breads and you couldn't have an easier, simple way to have a beautiful, elegant dish made right with your Cuisinart food processor.